guys, my name is Joan, the career coach. Today I want us to talk about handling job rejection. Any kind of rejection usually sucks. And I know it can be painful. I know it can be uncomfortable. I know you ask yourself, you know, like all kinds of questions. So how do you handle job rejection? Knowing how to handle rejection like a boss is going to be very important, especially if you're in a season whereby you're applying for jobs. Because if you don't handle rejection well, it means that, you know, you have, um, <clears throat> your confidence is, you know, is, uh, is bruised and you don't have the, um, the sight to keep applying for opportunities. So actually it can deter you from getting um, opportunities that, that, that you'd have been qualified for. It can make you stop, you know, um, sending out uh, applications and it can ruin your confidence. So how do you handle rejection to make sure that it does not get in the way of you landing the job of your dreams? And the first thing is, and I know this thing is very difficult to do, remind yourself that, um, you know, this, uh, the rejection is not personal. So don't take the rejection personally because there could be one million reasons why someone else was picked and not you. You know, it could be they were more qualified, the schools they went to, the kind of salary they asked for, it could actually be that you're more qualified. It's just that, you know, they could not um, afford to have you there. So if you keep yourself stagnated on the why and you take things personally and it's like, you know, they've rejected you, so it means you're worthless. You're not going to apply for any other job. You're going to take time before you bounce back to, you know, uh, to, the, to the game and you start applying and it's going to take such a long time for you to actually learn the... Um, you know, like the job of your dreams. So the first thing I'd want to urge you to do is don't take the rejection personally. And then number two, <clears throat> and I know sometimes hiring managers and recruiters are not going to give you feedback, but ask for it. Even if they say no, that's fine. The worst they can do is say no. Um, ask for feedback and if they give you feedback because some of them are going to be kind enough to say you did not make it because of one, two, three. Take that, you know, as, um, as a learning lesson and use it to improve for your next interview. The third thing, you know, that you can try and do is it's also a very good opportunity for you to polish up on your interviewing skills. I've worked with so many candidates as far as prepping them for interviews are concerned. And I know sometimes, you know, when these clients are coming to me, they've, you know, they've sensed or they felt I've not been, you know, doing very well in interviews. I've gone for like five interviews and I've not gotten, you know, any headway. So I felt I needed to talk to someone to help me navigate. And that's a wise move because surely... If you've gone for 10 interviews and, you know, every time you go for an interview, yes, you get the interview, but when you go for the interview, you fail. It means there's something that you might be doing wrong. You could be asking the, the wrong questions at the end of the interview. Maybe you're not confident um, enough or <clears throat> you could be saying like all the wrong things. So you need to polish up on your interviewing skills because maybe the reason why you're not performing well could be, you know, something that you're doing uh, during the interview. And then the other thing is of course when you get rejected, it's not a very good feeling. You'll feel bad about yourself, about your capabilities, about your strengths. But what I want to urge you to do is get out a piece of paper and write down like what are you proud of? Like uh, what is it about your career you're most proud of to date? What are your strengths? What are your capabilities? What value do you bring to the table? Remind yourself <coughs> of, of you know how valuable you are, and this is going to go a long way to help you gain your confidence again. And then the other thing is, please, um, as much as you've gotten rejected and, and maybe you, you, done, you went for this interview and you went until the very last step and you honestly thought they were going to give you an offer and then they ended up not giving you the offer, I know it's going to be very difficult to stay positive, but you need to, you know, if you're to land your, your dream job, because if you keep staying negative, as I said, you're not going to apply for any other job, you, you'll lack confidence, you'll feel like, you know, it's like it's the end and no other company is going to want you so it's important that you uh you are intentional about remaining positive and of course if you're in a season where you're actively applying for jobs you are going to get rejected and not once and not twice many times many companies will say no until you finally get that yes. so just get used to the rejection in fact you need to tell yourself you know i want to build this skill whereby i had like i handled rejection like a boss so that, you know, if they're not happy with you, ask for feedback, use the feedback to better yourself and keep it moving. You need to maintain your momentum if you're to learn the job of your dreams. And that's all that I had for today. I hope this video has been beneficial. Forgive my voice. See you next time.